Um, good evening. Welcome to Wizards Outlook. Um, as always, we got Cardo Dudley Jr., Raymond Lyons, Wilson Tarpe Jr., and again, it's Wizards Outlook. The Washington Wizards fell to the Charlotte Hornets, 114-104. Um, right. Ray or Cardell, who wants to get started first? You guys can't wait to talk about this riveting contest. <laughs> um, to me, the difference in the game was uh, second half three point shooting. Uh, I think the Wizards was like two for eighteen, and in the second half, something like that. Um, they shot twenty seven percent from deep. They kind of reverted back to depending on the three. Um, too dang much, like we saw early in the season. Uh, Ten for thirty seven. Y'all know y'all ain't got it, man. It's, it's no reason to keep forcing it. Um, they dominated points in the paint. They had 56, and Charlotte had 36. Why not, you know, keep going to that mix? But I get it. Beyond Beyond was down there, and Cody Zeller, they were down there beating stuff. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, you know, I also felt like they couldn't do nothing with Gordon Hayward, Terry Rozier, and uh, they really picked on Denny, especially down the stretch. It was bad. Uh, they picked on Washington's base, and this is where you notice they really need Gafford to heal up very fast because uh, they picked on Denny. They just cooked him. And then, uh, you know, what Miles Bridges did to Robin Lopez is beyond disrespectful. But, yeah, you know, crossovers. I don't know why dudes feel like when you close out on dudes, it's okay to turn around when they drive one way. You're asking to look silly. You're not even taught that fundamentally sound, you know, with fundamentally sound defense. But, no, who am I to judge? But um, I feel like Washington, at least they fought, you know, because the way the Hornets got hot in spurts, it could have ended ugly, like what we saw come out of All-Star break. Um, they need Bill back. They need Bill. <laughs> they need Gavin back. They need their full team. Because even with LaMelo out, he's a rookie. The Hornets still pretty much got their full team from last year. They used to, with Gordon Hayward. So they, they can still maintain – and they still have a lot of firepower to do what they want to do as far as um, scoring-wise. And with Biombo down there looking like how he looked, you know, with blocks and stuff, when he, you know, with three blocks and also countless other shots, uh, they held him down defensively. Rui, Rui, uh, Rui on one. We just got to call it what it is. He, he's, man, he, he's, <laughs> uh, he's definitely the third option now. There ain't no question about that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he, he might be next year coming here like you know Scott Brooks. I need to be number two. You know what I'm saying? He might come in there on some stuff like that because he hooping, man, and he's efficient. That's what I'm saying. He's a three-level scorer. I would have loved to see him rebound a little bit more, but, you know, he, he got it done, especially on the night. I know Russell Westbrook had another triple-double, but he was off on the field, which is what you can expect because he's a streaky shooter. He's not a great shooter at all. He's streaky. When he's on, he's on. When he's not, he's not. Uh, he had five turnovers, which is his average. Uh you know, you know, Hutchinson, you know, kind of came back down to earth and kind of crashed a little bit with the fatigue, one for six. Uh, you know, Jerome Robinson put some points on the board. I think he's been struggling real bad uh, on the last couple games. But, I mean, yeah, they just ain't have enough firepower to try to match what the Hornets was doing. That's where you miss Bill at. And, obviously, the athleticism to get, um, you know, to alter shots, alter some of the things that uh, – the Hornets were doing, especially on closeouts and switching and stuff like that. Uh, the Hornets really picked on the Wizards' base. Once they got past the first line, the guards and stuff like that, they all all they did was just ISO the base and just cook them. And um, I think that was the difference in the game. Go ahead, Ray. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I was happy to see Rui, uh, you know, play the way he played. He's still very aggressive. But um, you know, not out of control or anything, which you know he he isn't anyway, you know. But um, but yeah, man, it, it, it's good to see him continue to uh to grow in, into his into his role, and um, you know, and like Kadel said, they they were just shorthanded, man, and and where they were shorthanded was it was crippling. Um, you know, of course, it's not it's not too much you can expect with the league's leading score out the game. And then, um, you know, how we've been talking about uh, what Gafford has been giving him and to suddenly be without it again. I mean, then it's, it's just back to business as usual, man. Uh, you know, just very little presence on the interior on both ends. Um, you know, then you can, um, 
you can run pick and rolls with Gafford and just do different things with him. So, um, so yeah, they, they definitely, uh, need him to get back ASAP, you know, just so they can kind of regain some footing here before uh, things spiral out of control too much. But, uh, you know, they, they did fight, you know, they, they were scrapping you was, you would see the lead kind of ticking up a little bit. Then the wizards just shrink it back down. They just didn't have enough to finish, uh, you know, the, um, in the first half, they gave up 64. Then they held them to 50 in the second half. I mean, you know, that's like 25 points in a quarter is really used to be like, you know, kind of almost too much. Hell yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, but today that's, you know, that that's con- considered good, you know, because um, 25 full quarters, is, that's 100. You know, and teams are routinely in the 120s. So, um, so I mean, yeah, just a, a couple, a couple plays here and there where they, where they just need to to make something positive happen, and they weren't able to do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, they they need Gaffer back, man. But um, it, it's good to see Russ kind of rounded back in the in the form a little bit. Like he's. He, he's getting his legs back. Like I don't, I don't remember the last time he actually dunked on somebody. So, um, so yeah, that that's that's going to be interesting, man. Um, just to see him continue to, uh, you know, to, to get back to his old self down the stretch. Um, you know, and even not to get too far ahead, but uh, you know, looking forward to next year when they have a full off season and um, and everybody's healthy. You know that. They're interesting, man. They're, they're interesting. <laughs> it's never a dull day, is it, man? Right, right. But um, you know, again, you know this. This wasn't uh It it wouldn't be too far fetched to expect them to have won this game tonight. You know, just a couple yeah, plays. Yeah, a, a couple plays here and there, and this is a totally different uh, situation. Yeah. You know, like you brought up Cardell, they was uh they had the advantage on offense with points in the paint, but um, you know, they, they still managed to get up 37 threes. You know, re- rethink a couple of those possessions and, and you never know. But um, but yeah, baby steps, man. You know, I'm not expecting them to turn around and be a, a perfect team overnight, but um yeah, just steady improvement, clean some things up, and they should be all right. And before you get started, Wilson, uh, they, um, the Wizards sent out that uh, Daniel Gaffer has been diagnosed with a right ankle sprain, as we all saw following an you know, MRI exam. And uh, Gaffer, who suffered an injury in last night's game against Indiana, will be reevaluated in 10 days. So hopefully in that 10 days, they 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 give him round-the-clock treatment so he can bounce back. They're going to need it because they actually have, like, the next five games, they have a few winnable games in, in that stretch. So they're going to hold a four down until he get back. Then they, you know, still in that play-in, lower seed, playoff mix. Um, try to go on a run. Make it happen. Yeah, and to piggyback off the Gaffer news, um, like you said, is it reevaluated in 10 days? Mm-hmm. If we start to count from tomorrow, um and and give it a couple of days, that'll be the weekend of the tenth and the eleventh, right? For a possible return, if he's right, for you know uh, the most positive outcome, he's real valued right. in ten days, and he's able to come back. That would be a stretch. Uh, again, that's on the tenth and eleventh. They would be on the road. It would be at the Suns and Jazz. It'd be Warriors, Suns, Jazz on yeah. the road during. If he were to return, and they again, need that's him to be on that Paul Pierce. They need that Paul Pierce in game one of the finals. They need him to come out. Yeah, right. they need that. Whatever they did to Paul, they need to do that to him. Yeah, because that's a tough stretch they'd have coming up. Yeah. Um, and to close out the homestand, like to get a day off tomorrow. Um, then you got the Pistons up next. Uh, then it's you know one on one off that schedule. Um, Pistons, Mavericks, uh, Raptors. Magic, like Cardell said, some win- winnable games. Um, and then you're on the road. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, so the last home game for this homestand is Dallas, which is on Saturday. After that, they, they start their uh, – they'll be on the road for a while. So, again, um, to close out this homestand, you have an opportunity. It's 
it's up to them. Like you said, a couple winnable games. Um, if you guys didn't have anything else to add, slide on to the questions, to the comments, rather. Uh, oh. Or did y'all? That's cool. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get there. Let me find these. Let me get these ready. So it's a fun part of the program. Just once again, thank you for commenting. To all of you that watch, we truly appreciate it. Um, and don't forget, you can comment on Twitter, Facebook, even here on Instagram. Um, if it is Instagram, I'll be able to see it and, and you know, uh, relay the message to Cardell and Ray. If it's on Facebook and Twitter, we'll definitely be able to see it. And I know most of you comment on YouTube. So, again, thank you guys for doing so. Please continue to do so. We'll continue to uh, share your comments. The first one of the day, we got four from Derek Johnson. What is a Scott Brooks coach team known for? He's been here for five years, and I still don't know what the identity of a Brooks team or style of play. <laughs> well, Derek, uh, I'm not even sure he knows, except for a team that he just wants to. He wants a team to compete. He's always been preaching that. But when you pretty much have had a different team every year, combined with some heavy injuries to not just key players, franchise players. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to establish an identity, man. It is what it is. At that point, you scrambling. You just trying to win games. But he want he wants a hard working, hard playing team. He's been preaching that from day one. That's the style he he wants. Of I don't understand why y'all expecting this dude to be Red Al backfield Jackson, Greg Popovich, and he don't have anything close to the talent that they had. It's just not, it's not realistic, man. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I, 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 I really don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know what y'all expecting this man to do, man. Like, it, if he let's look the, the stuff he's had to endure the last five years, if he has somehow managed to guide them to a championship or something like that, he's the greatest coach ever. Like, it's not even a question. <laughs> we ain't even doing this. It's over. He got the crown, bro. Because. It's one thing to see it, behind, you know, on TV and stuff, but when you see all the drama, Madison, you you see the injuries and and, and dudes just the, the past years just not taking this serious enough, just BSing and unprofessionalism, not not working out like they should and all that. Like it's man, look, man. and 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 they were kind of coddled by the old GM who didn't really get on them. It's because he was worried about keeping his own job. It's a lot, y'all. It, it's a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, look, man, he, he's far from what I'm looking at. It, 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 at some point in time across the league, y'all can't, y'all got to stop overlooking the players. They're the ones on the floor. When things go right, they're the ones quick to say, it's, it's a player's league, it's us, we're the ones, we're, us, 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 it's us, us, me, 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 us, 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 cool. So when things go bad, why aren't they so quick to say the same thing? They're not so quick to say us, 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 me, me, me. So we gotta look at the players, man. You know, you you know when it's a coach, when they just out there looking crazy, nothing fits, nothing flows. It just it just looks like confusion on the court. But these guys are actually trying. You can tell when it's a coach. That's not the case with Bruce. Even when a lot of this season, when they lost and stuff like that, it was most of those games they fought back from big deficits. And by the time they fall back, they were done. So the team just re regrouped and took them out. It, it, it's that's coaching. That means they still playing hard for him. That means they're responding. They're, he can still reach them. So he's not the problem. They just gotta get some ta more talent on the floor, and these guys gotta bring it. They gotta execute. Ray, did you want to chime in, or you good? I mean, if you look at the team that he had last year. What what's what would you expect the identity to be? Like they were terrible. It's I mean, and like Cardell brought up, man, it's the just the shuffling of personnel since he's been here. He had what? They had what two two years where people were reasonably healthy, and the rest yeah. of it is, has just been in shambles. So I mean, it's it's only it's only so much he could do. You know, that's like telling somebody to build a house with a screwdriver and a hammer and that's it. Like what you want what you want the man to do? You I mean, don't have a whole lot to work with. Uh and from Anthony Tony, are you guys okay if Brooks contract is renewed? Ray, you can start off with this one. Um yeah, why not? Uh first of all, 
if they don't renew it, it's not like people won't be lining up to take this job. Um, you know, and then like th- this year is this year is a wash, man, for 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 a lot of reasons. Um so I I don't think <laughs> yeah, I, I I wouldn't be shocked or upset or anything if, if they renewed him. Uh would he want to be renewed? <laughs> you know, that that man probably pulling his hair out every night. So um yeah, uh to, to answer the question, yeah, I'm I'm okay if they renewed him. Um I don't see any reason not to. But you know, we'll we'll see how that goes. It's it's never a dull moment in this league when those type of decisions are being made. Cardell. Oh, I'm not against it. I mean, give, give him some talent. Give him a fair shot to really do something with it. When he had a fairly, you know, healthy roster, they, they made the playoffs. They lost to the Toronto Raptors. You know what I mean? Um, at that time, we were saying, hey, just get some more depth on the bench. Next thing you know, Uber gone. <laughs> That's when wall injuries started, the major injuries started and all that. Like, I don't even think he had a full two years with wall and Bill healthy. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just, you know, it is what it is, man. Right? Give him some, give him some time. Give him, give him, give, give him some talent with the organization that's currently constructed under Tommy, where he's more focused on getting guys in here that are professional and actually about doing their damn jobs on the floor and off the floor. You know what I'm saying? Doing all that stuff like that. Give him a shot. It ain't got to be a big deal. Give him a two year deal. See what you do with it. But you also got to do your job and give him something to work with as well. And by that time, you don't know if he, he need to stay on board or not. You know what I'm saying? Because let's be real, it ain't like uh, Phil Jackson is out there looking to coach again. It's just not. I mean, you just gonna be moving laterally anyway. So it is what it is. All right, on to the next one from the Awesomes, Russell or Bill? Who's Boy, better? Right. Number one. Yeah. I'm so happy I just get to play. Decide to play moderator. Cause uh, nah, dog. Come on, man. The the one the one he put in all caps. And so you feeling like he answered it himself while yeah. asking. Yeah. Cool. I'm not I'm not about to <laughs> we're gonna give you some time. I'm not about to do a, do, a, do a thesis on this. Like it's that was, <laughs> silly, that was a silly question. But I, and, and again, going back to this thing, not to keep harping on it, you told us in your question. So why ask? You also left out the question mark. So we appreciate your support. Um, next time, ask a question that you didn't already answer in your question. Quick little tip. Um, this is from M. Appreciate y'all consistent production. <laughs> Watching these after games has been a routine now. I know y'all like Rui since the draft, but remember when other Wizards fans want us to draft Seiko and Reddish instead? Crying, laughing emoji. Oh, uh, yeah. Now. Yeah, especially Cam. Look, man, Cam talented for covering him in high school. The one thing that bugged the hell out of me is his motor. He ain't, he ain't always show up, though. But in high school, you can get by with that if you six eight point guard, highly skilled and athletic. Uh, you 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 can get by with your talent. No one's going to match up with you. You know what I mean? It was just like too inconsistent and stuff for me, man. And uh, you see it in the league. You know, uh, you know, it, it, Bill Russell said it best about players, man. He said it, it doesn't matter what you have; it's what you do. It's what is what you do with what you have. And he don't always do a lot with what he has, man. You know, you can't just fall in love with the talent. Talent don't mean nothing if uh, he, he don't utilize it properly, man. It's just it's just flashes. It's a tease. And having teases on your roster gets you unemployed. Ah, uh, boy. <laughs> We appreciate you guys' support. Thanks for the questions. Um, during tomorrow's day off, I'm sure you guys will come up with some great ones. Look forward <laughs> to see what you guys have for us following Thursday's game right here on Wizards Outlook. Uh, y'all have a great night. For those of you staying with us for the Within the Madden shows, just be patient. They're on the way. Um, what do we got pulled up? We got the, uh, the women's edition of Within the Madness coming up next, um, You know, both on the men's and women's side, the early games tonight. Folks, uh, folks were, uh, it was formalities on the way to the Final Four. Folks had reservations. Uh, they showed up early. 
Um, they were punctual, prompt, got people out the way. And um, I can respect that. I truly, yeah. truly respect that. I really that. appreciate it. Thank you. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to Gonzaga. All around, all around MVP. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> like, it's so bad, even if we wanted to talk a lot, y'all made sure it wasn't much to talk about. <laughs> y'all said Final 40. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all handling business. See y'all in a little bit for Within the Madness again. This is Raymond Cardell Wilson for Wizards Outlook. We'll see y'all on Thursday. And I'm sure we'll have some interesting comments once again. As Ray said, never a dull moment covering this team. So <laughs> only imagine what we have Thursday night. <laughs>